Hey everyone, this is Russell Buchanan with HomeGage Software. And this video, I'm going to do a brief overview of a new template that is uh, made available through a separate purchase at the inspectoroutlet.com store called, um, here it is, inspectoroutlet.com, called InterNACHI Inspection Narrative Library for HomeGage. This is a template written by Kenton Shepard, uh, a professional in the industry who has many comments over the years. He has worked real hard to put it into the HomeGage um, template, and now I'm going to just go over a little bit on how it works. So if you like this template, you can purchase it here, and you'll go to save it to your computer, and you'll save it at the Documents folder, and it'll be under HomeGage, under Documents, HomeGage, Templates, and then one more folder down in the Residential. Once you save it there, then all you do is open up the HomeGage software, select your template, and open it up. Now, this template is ideally designed for new inspectors that are just uh, purchasing the software and they haven't picked their template yet. Or if you've used HomeGage for a while and you haven't really built up your own personal library of comments, then we suggest if you like to have a long list of comments to choose from, uh, this would be the template to use. So then you would just uh, start using this template as your main template to do inspection report writing. If you are already created a uh, template and spend a lot of time making your own auto comments and, and so forth, then I'm going to show you a little bit later on what you can do to try to combine the two. Uh, but uh, from this point, uh, this template uh, is ready to go out of the box for any user of HomeGage. On your left, you'll see your sections. So these are sections that Kenton created himself in the template, and then he assigned auto comments for each inspection item of these sections. So if I click on roof, which is here, these, this is my section roof, and this is my inspection items for roof uh, section. All right, so roof drainage systems, all about the gutters and uh, vents or vent pipes going through the roof, roof flashing. These are your inspection items. Obviously, your column handers go here. Bring your pictures over. You can type in your uh, comments uh, from freehand, or you can use the magic wand, which we'll just click on. And then the comments that load right now, these are mainly all of Kenton Narrative's comments for roof flashing. All right, so there's quite a few. When you're in a long list of comments like this, uh, instead of searching through the list, you can become familiar with the subfolders in the list. And I'm going to show you where that's at in a minute. But when you bring up your auto comment library, right here it says category filter. You can quickly go here and pick or choose a narrowed down uh, list of items that would have the comments that you're looking for. All right, and so that's where the speed will come in is by using this uh, drop down list and getting to specific comments based upon the problem that you're wanting to write about at that time. So here's, for instance, roof edge flashing, and he's got a few different comments uh, for you to choose from here. All right, so from this point, let me show you um, where your comments are stored. This is at the inspection item local list. But all of your comments are stored in one place, and that's up here at Template, All Comments. So here are your global lists, what we call the global list. And this long list of categories has been filled with auto comments uh, from Kenton Shepard's narratives. And so you don't work from this list necessarily. You definitely don't work from it to create an inspection. Uh, this is where your your comments are stored. And so when you see a little plus sign, you can click that plus sign and get a drop down of e even more subfolders where Kenton has put all of the comments dealing with these particular issues. And so these subfolders later, you can see that you can add more, edit the ones, rename them, etc. But this is where all your comments are stored. So if we go to attic envelope. There's thermal insulation. He's got comments on that, the general condition of the uh, thermal insulation, and so on. If we go to, uh, let's just skip down, cooling. So here we've got central air condition, and he's got comments dealing with the compressor unit. 
whether it's the cabinet, uh, whether it's the disconnect or the, con uh, the pad outside or refrigerant lines. So as you get to these, you can see that he's got long uh, broken down subfolders with long list of comments in there for you to um, use. And just giving you an idea that there are just so many in here that you can choose from. And there'll probably be some that you'll never use based upon your geographic area. Or maybe it's just not your style of uh, report writing on certain ones. And so the beauty of HomeGage is that you'll, you'll be able to clean these out and keep the ones that you want to use real close to you. And that would be here at the local list. And this is my local list. Uh, so here's roof drainage system, inspection item. Let's say it, whatever, it was good or maybe it wasn't. I'm going to send it to the summary. And then when I, I can type in my comment or use the magic wand to get to the narratives that are coming in with this new template. And so if I go up to this category filter here, Kenton has done a good job, a great job of separating these by the um, uh, problem or issue. So if I had downspout blockage, I could just come in here real quick and get a comment. Or maybe it's downspout damage. He's got different comments for those. Um, maybe the downspout's disconnected. So this is just a quick way to get to a list of comments uh, for you to filter and not have to look at all of them. If we select all, and if the list isn't too long, you may want to use the uh, selection of all and find the comment you want. But if you know exactly where your comments are and over a period of time you'll be able to, you'll just be able to uh, open that up, go straight to it, pick the comment you want, and drop it into the software. Okay, so uh, as far as this template and how it works, because Kenton has so many comments for you to choose from, he's actually separated them one more time by the, uh, depending upon what it is, in this case, the roof covering. So when I scroll down further, I can see lots of different kind of roof coverings and they're excluded by default. So uh, whenever I have to uh, inspect the roof, which is basically every home, and this, the way this particular template would work is I would go and look at the roof and say, okay, what kind of roof is this? Uh, this is asphalt composition shingle. So I want to go ahead and just unexclude and now, as I move away, you can see this one's lit up. So this is going to be the uh, roof type of today's inspection. And so all my comments now are going to be centered around this asphalt composition shingle comment and not be uh, referred to uh, with these particular comments associated with clay tile or metal roof. So here I am at the... Um, inspection and I looked at the roof I see that I've got three tab shingles or um, architectural shingles I can come here unexclude go straight to if there's a problem I would hit repair replace go straight to my magic wand and here would be my comments now there's so many here that you would definitely like to use this drop down list and the um, uh, problems here so if I had problems with blistering I could have I could quickly select the blistering and see a bunch of different comments to choose from or if maybe there was um, hail damage I could go here and get straight to the hail damage comments okay so that's the beauty of using this filter is that if back at the global list when I showed you that long tree and subfolders that he made he was able to filter out and categorize all these comments in the appropriate filter where I can select it from here in the drop down. So every word that you see right here, that came from the global list uh, and those sub folders that he made. And so that allows me to get straight to the uh, correct comments or the uh, category that I want. And so I can see what kind of uh, comments that he's got for me there. Now, like I said, depending upon the area that you live in or whatever, you may never use some of these comments. If not, then you can uh, spend a little time going through the list and deleting the comments you don't want. If you delete them from the inspection item level, and that's for instance here, you're not deleting them from the template. You're just deleting them from the local list. So I'm going to use this one as an example. Let's say that for whatever reason I'm in Key West, Florida, and I hardly ever get ice dam uh, uh, issues and I just don't want to look at this list anymore 
and I'll just go back to it, I stam removal. I could delete. Now you can delete singularly, like just by clicking on that and hitting delete, or you can highlight that top one, scroll all the way down to the bottom one and hold the shift key down and then hit this delete. It says, are you sure you want to remove the two comments from this list? So I want to say yes. And so now they're gone. And when I look here, I no longer see the uh, one about the ice damming. It's, it's gone. So I would go to my next one, and I'm going to just try to use another example where there's a lot to choose from. Another thing that you can do is selectively delete. So, for instance, let's say that we had these four here, and for whatever reason, I would never use this top one and this, this third one here. All you do is highlight one of them, hold the control key down, and select the other one, and that allows you to skip the ones that you want to keep. So the highlight ones will be the ones that will be deleted. And so I'll click delete. Are you sure you want to delete these two? Yes. Now they've been deleted from my choice. So you could go through and delete all those comments here at the local list and not be deleting them at the global. And again, the global is up here where your, all your comments are stored by going to template, all comments, and then you can get to the global list. So if you ever needed them again, if you say, you know, well, you know, I think I really did want those, then you could start right here uh, where you want, go to your local list, go up to your global from here, and then by grabbing these and the, the appropriate ones you want, and again, you can hold the shift key down and grab them all or hold the control key down and selectively choose the ones you want by selecting OK, you bring those back down into your list, and if it's a new uh, folder, then you'll be able to see it right here once you select it. So a lot of you guys can probably get rid of some of these comments here and there, depending upon which side of the town you live on, and uh, you won't uh, ever miss them. All right, so one more thing to think about again is um, changing your template. So if you don't like some of these sections, you can use the template changing toolbar or uh, think about it when you open up your software, you can um, uh, come to roofing, find out what kind of roof is on this house. And if it's a wood shake roof today, then you would uh, end up going to the wood shake roof area here on your inspection item, taking the X out. And now when you select your magic wand, you're going to be looking at nothing but wood shake related comments the way he's got them here. All right, and that's a quick way to filter through lots and lots of comments. Another way you can do it is to make your own, and I'm just going to give you an example. So I have his comments in here, and, and I know how uh, he's got this set up to exclude these items by default, and then I will unexclude them as I need them. And uh, that's the same thing with heating. He's got a lot of comments under heating, so when you first get to your heating section, no heat system has been selected and so if you have a heat pump then you come over here and unexclude heat pump or if you had like a boiler you would come over here and unexclude boiler and then whenever you go to your magic wand for your comments you're only going to see those that are associated with the boiler which are all these here but you could do it a little different if you think you're not going to use a lot of these comments and you're going to select them uh, selectively delete through just like I told you at the local list if you come here and you delete these these items here they're just going to be deleted from this local list they're not going to be deleted up there in the global if I go up to the global list which is right here you see it says global anything I delete in here will be deleted forever so if I was to select this comment it says are you sure you want to permanently remove the current selected comment from this template and so that should be a clue to you there that they're going to be gone forever from up there. But if I was to delete it from here and select delete, it says, are you sure you want to remove the comment from this list? So you're only getting rid of it from this list. And if you'll never use that comment, then I would suggest to delete it from the local list. That way, the next time you come here, it's going to be that much faster. But let's say that you didn't want to do it this way and you wanted to come up with your own inspection item called heat system. Then all you do is select add. It's your heating section. And then I'm going to type in heat system. 
So I have a new inspection item called heat system. I'm going to use the up arrow over here and up, up, up to the top. There you go, heat system. Now I'm going to use my magic wand to get to my local list. And you see I don't have any because we've created a brand new inspection item. And so by selecting the add button here, it says it will insert comment from global list. It will take me to the global list. And so from here, I want to go to the heating system in the global list. And so alphabetically, I'll come down here and find heating. So there's heating right here. I can selectively choose what I want. And I'm going to select this one and bring it down. All right, so now I've got one drop down filter called heating. Then I'm going to go back up there again. And instead of just the heating one, I'm going to go specifically to boiler. And I'm going to go, let's say um, I, I've picked through these. I haven't, but let's say I did. And I'm going to go to um, under boiler, these three I want. For instance, I can select OK. And now keep looking at this filter. Now I have something under air vent and all and heating. So I'm going to go back to the global list and I'm going to select a data plate, uh, let's see, efficiency rating, let's go to this. I'm going to hold the shift key down and grab all of those and let's go back up to the filter and see how this is changing. You see I now I have efficiency rating as part of my choices. So you can actually uh, go through here and pick and choose the comments you want if you didn't want to delete them from the local list. And let's go to hot water recirculation system. And let's say I want all three of those. I hold the shift key down, grab them all, bring them in. And you see how my category filter is, is starting out now, starting to add all those that I included when I'm up here choosing from my uh, filter. So we'll do one more oil fired boiler condition. Let's uh, scroll all the way down, hold the shift key down and grab all of them, hit OK. They all fell in. So now under all, you have all the ones that I just selected while you've been watching. Or I could say, just show me the oil fired boulder condition. Or just show me the uh, efficiency rating comments. You see how that works? So you could make your own inspection items and go up and grab from his list and make your template with just your comments that or his comments that just that you want to use and only those that you want to use. Or you can go to what he's already got here, let's say under boiler, and I can go through this list and slowly delete each one, each one out of here that I want, that I don't want, and that will eliminate them from my list. Okay, so this is how you would use the uh, template straight out of the box. It's also how you would modify it and delete comments that you don't think you'll ever use. And you'll be deleting them only from the local list here. And I also showed you how you can create your own inspection item. For instance, heat system. And then go into your uh, local list. Go up to your global. And pick and choose those comments that you want to be in your auto comment library. In this example for heat system. And that's all you do with this template. It's ready to go. Your styles and materials are here. You can uh, Everything is all ready. And... I don't have his latest one, which is the CYA, but at each inspection item, you can, let me get to an inspection item here. At each inspection item, as you click, you'll have his, um, his guidance or his references uh, on what to look for, uh, which makes for even a better template. And now what I want to do is go over a little bit, if you are an existing user of HomeGage and you already have a template that you like, and you wish you had Kenton Narrative's comments mixed in with yours. I'll show you what you can do with that. For those of you that already have a template that you've built or you've customized over a period of time and you would still like to have access to Kenton uh, Shepard's narrative template, uh, you're going to need to decide which template is going to be the main one that you use. Since uh, the narrative template through Kenton Shepard is so detailed, so long, and um, elaborate, I would recommend using his template to as your main one and bring in your comments into that template and then later change the sections and item names. 
it's not as difficult as it sounds and uh, follow these steps and we'll see what happens okay so I'm gonna select template and um, I'm gonna select my master when that'll be your template or whatever that you always use open it up and then here I'm gonna go to template at the top export comments and this is just a temporary file name. You know, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, at the desktop so we can find it easier. And um, let's go with, and then I'm going to hit save. So I've got my comments saved into a file. Now let's go back up to new, select template, pick the one that you bought uh, at the uh, Inspector Outlet store or whatever. Here it is, but rather than us worry about messing this up, let's go File, Save Template As, after you open it, go File, Save Template As, and name this something else. Maybe it's called My uh, New Master. And you can name it whatever you want, but call it something different. And that's going to be the template that we're going to build on. So here we are in... Kenton Narrative's template, but now we've renamed it, made a copy of it, and we're now we're in something called My New Master. At that point, we're going to come up here to Template, Import Comments, and it'll say, where do you want to import them from? And we're going to import them right here, My List of Comments. And now it's going to open up a window, and it's going to uh, let me know if I've got the same comments and sometimes you might have similar comments depending upon what Kenton left in the uh, default template that he used uh, using the uh, home gauge default template anything that we've got duplicates in we're just going to say uh, overwrite the comment in this template use this for all so I'm going to hit overwrite the comment in this template with the one that's identical same thing for these they're the same exact ones and so now it's uh, going through all of them till it finds another conflict import was successful uh, there was uh, 535 comments added there you go okay now now we're in uh, we're still in the new template that's been renamed uh, my new master and let's go up here and look at the global list template all comments okay so here we are we've got every bit of uh kenton's comments in here you got to get the little uh hit the plus and then you can see the breakdown so there's all of kenton's comments and where are yours i would tell you that most of them are going to some of them might have made it over if your comment category tree had the same exact name like attic or floors or something like that but any of your comments uh, that didn't have that wasn't already in a folder with the same name and that's going to be most of them are in the uncategorized list so here are all of your comments that was in your template and you can see uh, I, I had quite a few that came over and found its place and they're already in there wherever they belong, wherever we've had the similar name like cabinets or something. But these comments here, uh, the software didn't know what to do with them. So you, would, you can leave them there until you want to drag them and drop them in. But that's what you would essentially do is you would find the, the folder that they belong in and then you would drag them in. For instance, this top one is a fireplace damper. So we would have to become familiar with Kenton's uh, comment tree or his category tree. Yeah, so here's where they go under heating, solid fuels. You see he's got one here. Let me just stretch this out a little better so you can see his shortcuts. Fireplace damper. So this is where we would want to drag that comment in. So we're going to come up here to uncategorized. And here's, where's, here's that first comment. So let's scroll down and get uh, the heating section uh, visible. And under solid fuels, so this is where we're going to drag it. We left click on it, drag it down to solid fuels, and let go. 
So then we come to this next one. The filter's dirty. It needs replacing in the attic. If this was my custom comment, I need to find a place where I would put this over in the new folder tree. I happen to see right here we've got one filter under heating. He's got a place here for filter, and that's where this one would go. So we just left click on it, hold down the left click, and get it over there to filter and let go. And you would just keep doing that uh, through all of your um, comments in the uncategorized until you've gone through and got all of your uncategorized comments into the new folder tree. At that point, you've got your comments and you've got his, but now you also have his sections and his inspection items. So you can do this in a couple of different ways. Uh, that you don't have many, I could you could bring up another instance of home gauge and uh, go back and forth. So uh, let let me do a little bit of that. We we'll just minimize home gauge, and then we'll select home gauge again, and then I'll pick uh, the old template of mine, my master, and then I can just use this restore down button at the top. And just kind of get it to where I can uh, go back and forth. Like right now, all I want to do is look at the section names. So these are my section names that I'm used to look, uh, inspecting with. So I could come over here now and bring up the other one. And I would just go back and forth and say, okay, roof. What do I have for roof? I had roofing. So let me go change that. So you just go over here to components, roof, and you add it. And now I call it roofing. And then let's go see what the next one is. Exterior. So there's my exterior. And then I can uh, move this up. And then I'd go to my next one, garage. There's garage. So I can move this one up. And just go back and forth until you've renamed your sections. Now, if you... Uh, don't have a section called attic or bathrooms or kitchen because your total system by system you could uh, you might need to rename kitchen kitchen appliances because uh, this kitchen section does have your appliances right here so I might go back I might go and name these kitchen appliances because I don't want to delete them but you can uh, delete the uh, room sections if you're not a room if you don't want to have these extra rooms kitchen appliances and then I can go into kitchen appliances if I didn't want a kitchen floor wall ceiling doors windows or skylights I could delete these and I, the comments are going to go either in the uncategorized, unless I already have them in the normal folder tree. So let me just get rid of these. Now, I'm only doing this to show you if you were a total um, system by system person and you didn't want to have rooms, you could delete these and continue using your this template the way you normally do. And that'll be uh, under the electrical section. You can add or look at adding your inspection item that deals with outlets or whatever and not have them in here. So this is how you would just adjust your template. And you would go back and look at yours maybe and, you know, get a better idea. You can open this back up, go to built-in kitchen appliances. See that in your normal template, you never did have anything but the kitchen appliances. And so you could, that would just affirm that you're doing it right. Come back over here and get rid of uh, cabinets. Some of these you just might have to pick and choose to delete. Again, you're not deleting the global list comments. You're only deleting them from this uh, list. And then once you have that done, you, if you go to Styles Materials, you still have your Styles Materials uh, for your appliances or whatever. And then you would just go down the list until you have uh, this new template looking exactly like yours. It'll take you just a little while to do, but um, think of the hours and time you'll save uh, by having an uh, extra library of comments 
uh, written by uh, the author uh, Kenton Shepard. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. Um, you can um, go to our website, go to the support page, and put in a uh, request or, or on the uh, InterNACHI forums. I'll be looking, uh, I'll, I'll post a link to the video there, and then you can respond.